lucky. It's about uh, a bit close to 2.30 or after 2.30, so we're going to start. That's all right with all of you. Okay. So uh, I need to start with a statement, so good afternoon. Um, welcome to the 39th Color Lab Convention in Nashville, Tennessee. Today is April 3rd, and this is the session on mental image. Oh. I'm Jeanette Stoible, and your panelists for today are Daryl McMillan and Don Beck. Okay, when we are talking about how to control our choreography, I think most of us use modules or use side calling, right? Today, we have the opportunity to learn about another choreographic control method, which is called mental image. In the history of control methods, this method came after module calling and before or together with site calling. And before mental image, you actually only could call modules. And with mental image, you do not need to memorize modules anymore. You could actually do kind of freewheeling, but you have to kept on, you have to use rules. The two panelists we have uh, the two panelists have used and still use mental image. So they are the people to talk, to talk to you about this method. On my right, right. just yeah, give, give me some time, <laughs> from Decatur, Alabama, please welcome Daryl McMillan. <laughs> and on my left, from Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts, please welcome Mr. Don Beck. And going on to the program, I'll pass it over to Devil. Okay, great. Okay, I, you, you've all got a little handout, and I'll go through that sort of quick. Uh, but um, just to give you a little little history, I guess. I started, I got. I had a book. It's listed up here in this, um, one of these, um, called The Fundamentals of Hash Calling by Dr. J. King. And I had that book to start with, and that's the way I started calling. I read that book and, and started learning every call and what you could do with it and where it went and things like that. And um, this type of uh, system really, I think, works best for brand new callers. It'll help any of you folks that have been calling for a while and you want to go back and do this. It'll really help you. But it really works well if you do it right from the very first. Once you get site calling and all that, it's not likely you're going to go back and, and spend the time required to really capture this, this system. Um, but the, one of the biggest things that I want, I like to do with it is, is show you how you can practice by yourself. Now, again, this is especially for new callers because I hear a lot of guys say, yeah, I'm trying to be a caller, but I don't have anybody, any dancers to call for. I can't practice. Okay, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to practice a little bit by yourself. And, um, but anyway, I've, I've got mental image defined as a uh, method of choreography, uh, choreography management for square dance callers. And uh, this is where a caller mentally follows one predetermined person through the dance patterns in his or her mind. And he or she knows the person beside them at all times and how to get them back to, uh, to a desired result. Maybe an out of man left or squared up at home or whatever. I personally follow the number one man when I'm in, in my mind. I'm following the number one man. And the reason for that is the way I practiced. When I started calling, I had a big old bedroom. And I would get out here, and I had my little amplifier. Keep in mind, I'm brand spanking new, don't know anything. And I would play my record. I had my microphone. And I would practice holding my microphone out here like you should. I practiced doing the volume control. I think a lot of people, some people don't use that. I use it a lot. I think it's really important. Turn it down so they hear your commands. Turn it up so the music moves the people. But, um, but I'm out here, and I'm playing my little music, and I'm dancing the number one man's part. Now, what I did to, to, to make that work was I actually took books. You could take anything, but I took a book, and I put two books right here where this couple would be and two books here and two books there and one right here for my partner. The reason for the books, I had them spaced right, right where the uh, couple's toes might be, a little to the inside of the outside of the square. And I would say, for example, head square through four, and I'd start, and I'd take all the steps and go around and, and do a head square three four. Reason for the books was to keep me from shortcutting. 
if you got nothing out there and you say, hit square through four, you turn a little bit of circle right here. It doesn't take nearly as many steps, that kind of thing. I know, I know you all understand that. And, I, and then I would analyze the calls and what have you and swing through and boys run or whatever I wanted to do. I practiced that all by myself over and over and over. My, I can't imagine how my wife stayed with me. But I'd come in and work 4 o'clock in the afternoon and do about two hours every day. Did, did most of the day on Saturday, a lot of times, not always. But uh, anyway, and it teaches you how to do the calls. Teaches you which way you're turning, and when we get a little further here, uh, you know who who is with you beside you all the time, and what you have to do to get to the corner. And um, what we'll do is we'll talk about that just a little bit. Um, and uh, at Don's request, um, and and it's really good. We're going to call, talk about X's and O's. In other words, we're going to do. I'm going to make a do a call, and I'm going to call it an O call. Now let me tell you what that means. I'll tell you what. Well, we only have one lady in here. That's okay. No, would, would you feel like it? Could you get up and dance with us? Would you mind? Two couples. I need two couples. Is all I need. Don't need a square. Two couples. Like head couples. Two head couples. There we go. Thank you very much. Okay. Now this is this is my connotation here. I call this this I call this north and south. Just just for my identification, they're they're moving north and south right now, okay? And when I change that, and they're moving this way, I'm going to call that east and west. And that's just so I can differentiate what's going on, okay? As long as I do a, a call, any any standard call that I want to, and I'm moving north and south, I'm going to have my original partner right beside me for now, okay? So let's do that. Heads pass through. That was a call. They still have their partner right beside him. Heads do a partner trade. Still have their partner right beside him. They're moving north and south. Square through three. These are all standard calls. They would be considered O calls. They still have their partner right beside them. Everybody do a partner trade again. Right and left through. All these were O calls. O meaning no partner change. No partner change. Everything they did going this way kept their original partner right beside them. When I change directions... I have to change ladies. And we're still talking about O calls, O calls, no change of ladies. And I'll, I'll identify that a little more later. How about the head star through? Now we've changed directions. We're moving east and west. I do not have my partner beside me anymore. I have my opposite lady beside me. And the same scenario I did this other way, we could do right here. As long as we're moving this way, I've got to have this lady beside me. So square through three. Still got your, your same same ladies. You had your original opposite lady. Do you turn back? Star through. You change directions. You change ladies beside you. California twirled. Slide through. Do you see the change? Now everybody slide through again. And um, I didn't even look. Where did we start? Are you home? Okay, hit right and left through. Thank you. Everybody's home with their partner. Okay, now if I do an X call, which means a, a ladies change call, um, and there are different ones. Don has a nice list for you that uh, you can you can pick up a list from him. But in my case, I just worked it out over the years. You know, you do one, you see, well, that's an X. And you do another, it's an X, what have you. But for example, how about step to an ocean wave and recycle? That's an X call. I'm moving north and south, but I do not have my partner beside me anymore. I have the opposite lady beside me. Okay? Everybody uh, fan the top. Now, I've changed direction, but that's considered an X call. If you'll step forward, please, and do a partner trade. You see what? Yeah, there we go. Now, if you just star through, change your direction, get your partner right beside you, and do a right and left through. Now, there are a lot of different calls that you can do the X part, okay, and and um, and, and but a lot of O calls, too. But that's that's what you keep up with it in your head. I'm thinking number one, one man's part. I can shut my eyes and call it, and I know I call all those things around there, and I know who's beside me all the time. Now, and, and let me say this, one more thing, I'll answer your question. Uh, you're not going to listen to this today and walk out of here and be able to do that. It takes a lot of time and practice, a lot of time, but, it, but it's worth it. It helps you be a much, much smoother caller. You go to call for a group you don't know, you don't know how well they dance, you know, and invariably you get up there and you pick out a couple of squares you're going to watch for sight calling, you start calling, they both break down. And then you, you don't look real good because you, you, you're searching, looking. If you, I, I always do at least two tips just strictly right here. Then I know who can dance well enough I can watch them and count on them. Tell me your question.
Two test to you. For the ladies' chain across, is that an X call? Yes, that's an X and call. And ladies' chain down the line? Is the ladies' chain down the line an X? From a two-phase line, it's a no. Okay. 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 But that's a very good question. Look, this square you said. That'd be good. That, just like we did the, where we did the recycle. Had a lady's chain. All right. Now, so you're, now you're going north and south like we talked about, but you don't have your original partner beside you. You have your opposite. So that was a, that was a lady's change. So um, you could uh, step to a wave and, and recycle again. That would be fine. And then slide through twice. And you can follow that whole deal. Okay, you can do a uh, don't move. You can do a you can do a flutter wheel, and that's an X. And you can do a reverse flutter, that's an X. And you know, just come up with a list of those. And and while we're moving in this group, we're fixing change and go to see somebody else here in a minute. Um, um, you do one X, and you just keep dancing around whatever you want to. Do another X within the same group, and you're back where you where you where you were at home or whatever. Not necessarily at home, but with your with your partner beside you. Okay, now. We're going to change directions. We had to do a little adjusting here since we only have two couples up. But, but anyway, everything I just said, you can do a star through. Please do that. And that's an old call, see? That's an old call. You don't have your partner beside you. You change directions, but you also change ladies beside you. Now, you can pass through. Okay, now, the original head couples are facing the side couples. We've got a couple out in front of us. Remember that? See, you all know that, okay? Everything we just practiced with those two couples facing heads position we can, we can just sort of scratch that out of our mind, and now we can do the same thought process with this outside couple. As long as you're moving this direction you're facing right now, you've got that person right beside you that's with you now. You do an X call, you'll have the other lady beside you right now. Got it? Yeah, follow that? Okay, do a partner trade for me. Okay, and slide through, and everybody would be at home. Now, what I do, and I'll go a little further while I'm up here. Um, uh, and I'll be honest with you, I'm going to cheat. See, Don's going to get mad at me now because I, I cheat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me just mention this because it's on the notes. And, and yeah, I, I wrote those things in so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, the, it really helps you to do the little diagrams drawn by hand. Uh, I, I drew in a squared up set. And I squared up where you would uh, show where you would be after a square through four and step to a wave and that kind of things. And people say, well, I'm going to use my doll. That's a lot faster. I can use this program on a computer. You certainly can, and you won't remember hardly any of it. Okay? If you do this, you remember it. Plus, if you have a sequence of things you want to do and work it out, you do this, you do this right here, and you get to where you think you ought to be and it's not right, you can look back and see where you made a mistake or what you left out or what you added you shouldn't. These things are really worthwhile to sit down and write these little figures down. Okay? Uh, let's see. Hang on just one second. Now, when I said when I said I cheat, um, let's have you head square through four. Now we have changed we've changed position. That was a, that was an O call. We changed the way we're facing, uh, but we did square through four. Now we're facing another couple, and that's we need to get two another couple up here. Can we get another couple? Two more people? Two, two guys up here together? It don't matter. That's all right. Can we get two guys up here? Right here. How about that comes again. That's good. Okay, we had to head square through four. We're all facing our corner. Everybody's facing their corner. And we're going to get to some out of man positions in a minute, and we'll come back to the spot. But everybody star through, please. Pass through. Bend your line. Slide through. Okay, now I just know from practice. This was not part of the mental image thing. That's just something that I know from, from working, working, working. Everybody's looking at their corner right now. Everybody looking at their corner. And we can do anything that we could do on that other side since we moved them around. See, we can do, don't move yet. We could do a right and left through and a veer to the left. Don't, don't, don't do it. Just listen. We could do a right and left through and veer to the left and fair swill and pass through and we're right where we are now. A little zero. I throw all that kind of stuff in there, but basically it's mental image to me. I know right where we are. Everybody star through. Pass through. Bend the line. Slide through. Everybody's looking at their corner. Right? Okay, square your sediment. Now, I'm going to go ahead. We've got to, uh, this program. This program has three um, what we call Alaman positions uh, that I want to show you. And you can you can do this in your mind. You can say, okay, I'm going to I'm going to work this little set of calls, and I'm going to wind up in Alaman position one. I want to show you Alaman position one, and the way I rem we have Alaman position one, two, three, and four. 
And the, uh, the way I remember this is, um, whichever, and I'll keep all the ladies the same. By that, by the same, I mean I'll have four ladies chain or I'll have four ladies chain three quarters or four ladies chain three quarters and chain straight across. I don't just do one lady or two ladies, what have you. But with the, if the number one man starts with the number one lady, in other words, everybody's at home with their partner, and we don't do any X's. We just, just could dance around O's. Uh, the only place we can do an Alaman lift is Alaman position three. Okay. Now that, and you, I'll show you that. And, and I'm, I'm going to do it as if I were going to call Alaman so we get our hand usage right. How about the heads do a left square through four? One, two, three, four. This is Alaman position three. And your left hand is available because I started with the left hand. Do an Alaman left. Square your set. All right, now when I show you these things, I'm just going to show you one or two calls to get you to these spots, just so you see the spots. When you're up calling, you don't have to do just one or two little things, and you have to do an alaman left there. You can do all this other stuff and go around, dance, dance with them, move around, dance over here a while, and come back, and then get to your alaman position, but you'll know where it is. Now, that was alaman position three. I showed you that's the most common one. That's what I base most of my calling on, by the way. Now, if I want to, I'm going to start from the caller's perspective up here. I'm going to have Alaman position one out here, two right here, three right there where you've already seen, and four over there. Let me show you how to get there. If I want to go to Alaman position one, I've got to start the head man, head number one man, with the number three lady. In other words, the opposite from the number that I'm trying to attain, okay? So all four ladies chain straight across. All, all four ladies chain straight across. I know, I know, Mildred, you're a little slow, but that's all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Now the head square through two. And everybody slide through twice. This is Alaman position one. I've got the number one couple right here. And they're, everybody's facing their corner. We could do an Alaman left. Do that. Alaman left and then back up to your home spot. Home spot. All right, and I've got, I have a little really rough diagram in there that you can see that Alaman position one. The point I wanted you to see was, if you're the caller, and, um, uh, oh, and by the way, let me mention this before I forget it. I'm, I'm saying number one man, number one man, no, okay. We can do all the same things starting with the number two guy, or side couples, and, but still I'm doing the same process. I'm not really thinking, I'm gonna say sides do such and such, but I'm still thinking number one man's doing blah, blah, blah. Yeah, y'all follow that? Is that crazy? Okay, now let's go ahead and, and I want to get to Al. I showed you Alaman one. Alaman position. Can you do number one again, please? I, Say it again. Can you do number one again? Yes, sir. I'd be glad to. All right. The, the, the object to, to start with before you call it, and I'll put a little more stuff with it now. Uh, is all four ladies chain? Go ahead. Now that gives me the number three lady with the number one man. Number three lady with no. That's what I'm thinking up here, you know. And all the others have got their opposite lady also. Okay, and then we can just dance anything we want. Let's have the head square through four. It had nothing to do with anything. We just movement. We're just moving around. Dun, 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 dun. Right and left through. Dun, 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 dun. Veer to the left. Ferris wheel. Center square through three. Dun, 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 dun. Everybody slide through twice. Alamanda left your corner. Unpromenade four steps. All right, good. Now, okay. Okay, do you got it now? You think you got it? Okay, see, I'm starting. My key in my mind is I, this is what I'm dancing mentally right here. And I put the number three lady with him, so I had to get to Alaman position one. The the position you're trying to attain, you start with the opposite number lady. Opposite number lady, okay? So what we're going to do now, let's see. Um, we did one. Now I want to do number two, so I've got to have number four lady with the number one man. So all four ladies chain three quarters. Third man. Yeah. Now everything works the same. See, I could say the heads do this and show you the same, 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 same. But I'm going to do it this way. Side square through four. I'm still thinking this number one guy. But I'm, I'm saying sides. And we can do any kind of figures. Do a right and left two. Pass through and trade by. And you don't have to do the exact calls that I'm using to get to this position. But anyway, do a right and left through. Pass through. Alaman left. Unpromenade a little bit. You're home. Now I'm going to do it back for the head so I can follow my same pattern. Alaman one, two, three, four. All right, so I'm going to do two. So I'm going with number four lady. All four ladies chain three quarters. I 
can do it right quick so you can see the spot. Just the heads roll away with a half sachet. That was an old figure. The head straight ahead star through. That was an old figure. Everybody go right and left through. That was an old figure. I'm going to do it. Don't move. I'm going to do a pass through to get to my Alaman position, but I don't have to pass through every time. Everybody without any hands do a do side do Once and a half to an Alaman left. Back up a little bit. That was Alaman position two. Okay, and we already talked about three. Three starts with, he has, he has, he has the number one lady with him. So he's going for Alaman position three. And everybody's the same, same situation. And we saw that over there, okay? All right, we'll go for Alaman position four. All four, he, excuse me, he's got to chain, he's got to start with lady number two. Let's start with lady number two. Okay. All four ladies chain three quarters. And then all four ladies chain straight across. Now, this man has the number two lady, which is his right hand lady. Every man in the square has his right hand lady with him as a partner. But this is all I'm caring about right here. Okay? And and now the head couples square through four. I'll just do it real simple. Like I keep in mind you can just do any kind of figures you want to to get back to this spot. And everybody pass through. Alaman left. That's the, that's four. Promenade home. Now you can you can do any of that stuff with the heads. You can do the exact same stuff with the sides. You can do it with the heads and uh, like square through four and get over. Don't do it. Just listen. head square through four and get over there and star through and pass through and bend the line and slide through. And you, immediately you're in the same spot as far as an Alaman left. You're not home now, but you're in the same spot as you would be. That's Alaman position three. Yeah, just turn it around. Okay. And, and you could do a bunch more stuff. Come back the same way as you want to. Tremendous variety. And, and everything you do is diff feels different for the dancers. If I had said heads do something and then I said sides do something, it feels totally different for them. And it makes an interesting dance. Okay. Let's see. Any any questions about that while I got the people up here? Okay. Um, that's what I want you to see was the Alaman positions. Follow the number one man's uh, all the time and, and, and the X's and O's. Don's going to do a lot more with the X's and O's. And uh, the, the book that I told you about is still available. It was uh, Mr. J Dr. J. King passed away. And uh, Gene Trimmer uh, got the book and, and uh, what do you call it? He redid, redid it, edited the book. Yeah, and, and so it's available for you to use, use that book if you'd like to have it. Don, your book, is your book available? Is it available at all? Not this week, but it will be next week. Don Beck has written, he, he knew Dr. King. He collaborated with Dr. King. They worked on this together. And he has written a book called Out of Sight. I'm not advertising for him, but he did a book called Out of Sight that carries this whole system a little bit further. He knows a lot more about it than I do. And so, see, I told you, I was just going to wound you. Now, he, he'll, get you, he'll get you from there, okay? All right, that's, that's all I wanted to say. Um, if, you read that, if you read that last one right there, and, and, and he, you can do all the above, beginning with the sides, just the same as the, the process is for the heads. Uh, when you can use the above comfortably, throw in a few modules, a little bit of memory, maybe some sight, and a ton of enthusiasm, you can call a great dance. Thank you very much. Oh, let me let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. And I, I truly, when I'm talking, I hate to say the word I. That's, that's, it sounds like so. I, I practiced for nearly two years doing just what we talked by myself. And, and I was a member of a dance club. They would let me get up and call a tip too. And, but I never really did any other work calling other than when I practiced by myself. I had been doing that somewhere between a year and a half and two years. Four o'clock Saturday afternoon, one of the callers where I danced at their club called me, and he said, do you know enough to call a full dance? And I said, I think I do. I had never called a dance. I had never taught a class. He said, I have a special dance booked 85 miles from here, Valdosta, Georgia. And he said, I am sick. I cannot go. I've called over there. There are no callers that we can find that can come do the dance. If you, if you think you can do the dance, I'll tell them you're coming. I went and did the dance. February is raining, bad night, it's cold. But we had 12 squares at that little dance. They didn't, never heard of me, didn't know me. I set up my little equipment. I called the dance. I booked three specials that night. And it just took off from there. It's been unbelievable. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for your time. Hey, thanks, Daryl. Dawn is next. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I don't think the mic is working yet, is it? Oh, great. Um, no, I need two hands. Instead of having dancers, I got my friends up here. Um, 
I want to say just a couple of things. One is, as Daryl mentioned, I was fortunate enough to know Jay King. Um, I happened to work in the same place he did. He was an established caller, and I was an established wannabe. <laughs> Nobody ever told me there were different methods of calling, like sight and memorizing and modules. And I figured you were either born with it or you had to read it. He talked me into buying his book. I started reading it. It was, wow, the light went on. Um, again, I still didn't know about sight till many years later. And there were places that... <laughs> I just couldn't quite figure out what he was doing, so I filled in between the lines as I went along, and I'd go up to him about once a week, a different part of the building. Um, he said, well, that's not exactly what I meant, but if it works for you, go ahead and use it. And I'd go a little further, and, and I can see the stuff that Daryl's using. You followed his method quite nicely. There are a lot of things that I didn't quite like his way, so I evolved it in a different direction. And... Um, I was looking for other people that might be able to teach me more in the direction I was going in and eventually found out that I was the guy that had to teach it. So um, the first thing I want to say, this can you all see this square up here well enough, the, the numbers and such? You notice that using arrows instead of um, the boxes like everybody else did. Um, I was working in a vacuum. I didn't know any better, and that made sense to me. When I met Jay, he was using that, too. That's why Daryl has it that way on his handout. Um, the what? So I figured he was okay by me right there. Um, but what I ended up, the way I explained it is think of these as arms. These are the arms you're working with. Not a direction, an arrow they're pointing, but the arms people are working with. Um, Jay's reason for doing it was people use squares, and he wanted to diagram more quickly, so he only did half of a square and half of a circle. Um, I remember the men from the women because the women have more curves. Uh, I don't know if that's PC, but but I'm a Mac man, not a PC man. So, uh, But the main thing that I feel mental image is valuable, and as Daryl said, easier for the newer caller to learn because he doesn't have sight to fall back on, but invaluable for the sight caller to use to learn also, is, and, and I think Daryl didn't quite demonstrate that the way I, I like to. I think it's valuable because I only have to follow one person. I don't have to see which woman's beside me, even though I can set that up easily from a square. It said it's one from a four ladies chain, it's three, and I can memorize that and set it in the back of my mind. I just think of that one person, and that's it. The biggest problem I have with sight calling now, and I can, I'm basically a sight caller these days, the biggest problem I have is memorizing who started with whom um, and keeping that straight. And so what I'm going to do, and the reason I'm using these guys instead of these, is I'm going to hide the identity of the identity of everybody in this square except the number one man. We're going to use him. And as Daryl said, it could be any of the men. It could be any of the women, actually. So the rules are all the same. But we're just going to look at these, the num concentrate on which person this is. And when we're done, we're going to check and see if everything's right. Um, and I guess I should have done this before turning them over. But you know that that what we just did was move into a zero box here. Um, and everybody, you know, it's still number four couple because I haven't moved them. Everybody's ready to do an Alaman left. In in the Alaman three position, we don't have to know that nomenclature yet, but we will use it for reference later. So a quick question. Have any of you, let's show our hands, were any of you at my session last year when I w did this or listened to the MP3s of it? Wow. For those of you on the tape, you missed the excitement <laughs> of seeing my whiteboard fall down. And unfortunately for the tape, you're going to miss the excitement of seeing what these guys do. But I don't know. They just handed it to me, and they look different. Did I have eight dancers, four, seven of them turning upside down? <laughs> 
Okay, a little higher would be great. Ah. Um, yeah. Excuse me. We're, we're going to do it this way. Yeah. Yes, that would be great, Miriam. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Let's get us in the right positions to start with. So, not only my apologies to those on the MP3, my apologies to those in the back row <laughs> with this working on the chair. It's kind of low, but... You guys want to get out where you can see in front? I'm also talking to the rest of the panel, that moderator back here. <laughs> I know Jeanette's seen this, seen my my magnetic friends before, but so again, if I go heads pair off or equivalent, everybody's in a position to do an owl man left. All I care about at this point, because I'm going to hide the identities of of everyone except the number one man, is I'm picturing a grid on the floor here. Eh. And I'm picturing a spot under here. And so I danced them around till that guy was on that spot. And we're going to show you how we can make it so everybody else takes care of themselves. Now, what I'm going to do, as Jeanette said, you can do some freewheeling on this. You can't do nearly as much freewheeling as you can with sight calling, but so much more than you can with, um, with modules or reading or what have you. So I'm going to lay thousands of restrictions on you, and then one by one, peel them off. And we'll only leave 1,500 when we're done, but we'll be run out of time. So the first restriction is, actually, if you get your handouts that I passed, that Jeanette passed out for me, and turn to page five, and don't you dare look at any other page. Um, never mind, make that page four. On the top should say list of X's and O's and cross the center types, etc. But this page here has just O's. O's having a zero effect on exchanging ladies. X's we'll talk about later, exchange ladies. Um, terminology I got from Ron Schneider, who's now in Florida. So what happens here, this first restriction is I'm only going to use calls on the O list. But there are plenty there. Generally, two-thirds of the calls we use are O's. And I'm only going to dance the head two couples in the center. And after I, we do a bunch of dancing with those two guys in the center, not looking at the head of anybody else, we'll dance them to an eight-chain through formation with the number, man, number one man on this spot. And hopefully we'll have an element left. So somebody give me a call off that first off the old list. That looks sturdier. Use calls that are O's, namely on page four of the handout, and for the time being, only work with the two couples. Thank you, Miriam. Only work with the two couples. They had two couples in the center of the square. Um, let me do that, but let me... Yes, this locks nicely, but doesn't get very far apart. I think most people go in portrait rather than landscape, but for my purposes, let's see how long we can go with, without breaking down the square. So we, Ron said, a pa heads past the ocean. So we're still working with the heads, we're still using O's, and we have a, two couples working in the center. Somebody give me another call off the list. Recycle is an X. So what's going to happen is you don't even have to look at the thing. I'll tell you if, if it's a tilt, if you can't do what you're doing um, because it's the wrong thing. But another example. 
is an X. Can't do it. Um, can't do it from a right-hand wave. Another thing about looking at arms is you actually see the wave if you, if you look at it. And I kind of like it for that. We just had a right and left through. Center straight is an X. But we just had right and left through. So that's... Um, let me move it along. Let's do a star through. Uh, pass through. Partner trade. Um, and I'm going to throw in a, a plus call, partner trade and roll. I'm going to point something else out here about these dolls that make it handy for me. Notice these guys are holding hands over here, right here. And these guys aren't. That's the way I can get a quick look if I have a half sashayed couple or not. Just a simple thing for my dolls. It makes it a little easier. So we're still following the ground rules, but be aware that the center couples are half sashayed. Um, how can we unsashay them? Turn through. Okay. Now, that's on, on the O list. We're still in the center. We got normal couples. Now, it's time to resolve. Let's get this guy over to that spot. Anybody? No, I don't want to play with the outside. We've got to stay in the middle. Partner trade, I heard two or three times. Okay, what do we do next? Pass through. Theoretically, we could call an Alaman left here. Let's find out. This is supposed to be the number four couple. We haven't touched them. They're sitting there bored. So unless they went home, it's still the number four couple. Yay. This has got to be number two couple. Number one man, the only one left is his mirror image, number three. And the only thing we don't know is, is this the number one woman or the number three woman? And so for the time being, take my word for it, because you used only calls on the X list, it's the number one lady. Three cheers. Huh? That's what... That's what I meant. It's not what I said, but it's what I meant. Yeah, on the O list. So we have a, an element left here. Um, and it works with if you use any of the calls on that list and none of the X calls and keep these guys in the middle, all you got to do, don't worry who, who's with whom or anything, only follow this one person and bring him to that spot. Everybody else takes care of themselves. Now, what happens if we do a lady's chain first, which is on the X thing? And then we move these around to where they're dancing in the middle with O's, and he's on his spot. I think it's obvious that these guys on the sides are still correct. The men are still correct. But since we did a lady's chain, these guys are not correct. The women, this is number one instead of three and vice versa. So that proves you can't use X's. Well, no. That says you can't use X's indiscriminately. Let's go back and square our set. So one obvious thing we can do is we can say, I'm going to do a, do I, did I get the right one? Yeah. I'm going to do a lady's chain, but I'm going to cancel the effect of it by doing another lady's chain right afterwards. Make sense? So... We'll do a ladies' chain, ladies' chain back, dance a bunch in the middle, go to the spot, Alaman left. Let's take it a slight step further. I'm going to do a ladies' chain. Now, coincidentally, behind the scenes, I don't memorize this, but I'm just pointing out his new lady, his new partner after the ladies' chain is the number three lady. I'm going to do a star through uh, and a right and left through. And I know if I do a pass-through, it won't work. I'm going to do a lady's chain. And coincidentally, his, his, yeah, wrong one, his new partner is number three again. Coincidentally, but I don't care. All I know is I did one lady's chain, and I canceled it with another one. It didn't have to be instantly canceled. It didn't have to be north-south versus east-west canceled. As long as I did it in the middle, it canceled the effect of the other one. And I can do a pass-through and an Alaman left, and we're all where we should be. Okay? So, 
some, item one, and you can do this when you leave as long as you have a list of whole O's in your hand. Dance them in the center, only in the center, only O's, bring the man to his spot. Dance them in the center, call any two ladies' chains or any two flutter wheels. Or let's, let's try another simple thing here. Um, we started off the very first sequence with a heads past the ocean. Somebody said center's trade. That's effectively changing the ladies. So I can cancel that by doing a center's trade. So any X call you call, use it again to cancel itself and dance the guy to that spot, and it's going to work. Now, I see a few heads bobbing up and down, and unfortunately, I'm paying attention to my key square in the front. Are the rest of you still with me? Good. Um, <laughs> now, here's, here's the, thing that, the next thing that blew my mind. I can cancel the effect of a lady's chain with a flutter wheel. I can cancel the effect of any X with any other X. So I don't have to keep track of which X's. All I have to do is keep track of how many. Uh, page, page 6, page 5 has X's. Um, and it's broken into two kind of X's, those that are same facing north, south, or east, west, before and after, and those that are different facing. They all have the same effect. It's just easier to memorize them this way. So for the time being, don't, don't bother, you know, use them interchangeably. So... Um, so yeah, as long as I have an even number of X's, I can cancel, I can go to the head man to that spot and I've got an L man left, but let me caution you, do not count X's. Was that 13 or 14? Well, I'm trying to do all this other stuff. There's just too much going on. Do this. Uncanceled X, canceled. Uncanceled, canceled. And when it's canceled, I don't have to worry. If I do it one, I make sure cancel. For the time being, cancel it right after you do it, just to make sure that most of the time you're dancing with them uncanceled so you don't have to worry about it. Now, one of my students one year said, I got a way that I don't even have to think canceled or uncanceled. Every time I do an X, I raise my hand. Every time I cancel it, my hand is down. If I'm down in a relaxed mode, I can, I can call an Alaman left. I said, that's a good idea, Peter, but what do your dancers think? <laughs> he says, well, actually, my mirror doesn't mind. I've only been practicing the pace with you. <laughs> but with that in mind and talking to him, and I don't know what we came out, I end up making an X with my fingers and then un-Xing it. I've got an uncanceled X, and now it's canceled. I call Al Man left. And I generally don't show that. It's, uh, you know, I'm hiding that behind. What are you doing, scratching my back? Um, so you see people that have heard my talk wonder about crossing fingers and not. And that's what it is. An uncanceled X, ah, it's canceled. I can call an element when I want. Let's, for the heck of it, try and remember where we were here. Um, now, I know he's right. And I had no idea where she was. Now they're correct, too. So let's, let's, being all of us together or those of us that are still awake, call a sequence and use X's if you want. Somebody give me a call. Heads past the ocean. Another call. Some, actually, I'll, let me do one because one of the first calls somebody said before was recycle. Okay. Recycle is an X. We have to cancel it before we can. Now, Nice body flow to cancel it would be re -flutter, reverse flutter, but I don't care about body flow right here or hand availability. I, you got to worry about that later, but right now we're just trying to learn this technique. Somebody give me a call. Slide through is an O. That's fine. Okay, the guy's on his spot, but I still have an uncanceled X. Ladies diagonally zoom. No. Chase right. There's a good one for here because that is an X. One. 
Okay. So we've canceled our X. Hand down. Okay. Mm, something's wrong. No, that's right. The chase right was an X, so our X is canceled, but we still have to get this guy to the spot and be in an eight chain through formation, and we're not. Let's work on resolving. Boys run. Okay. Unfortunately, that's an X, so we have an uncanceled X again. Not unfortunately, but unfortunate for ladies' chain. Pass through. In theory, says this will be the number four couple. Ta da! And the number two. And who's this? This number one lady. Yes. Three and three. Alaman left. So we've, we've gotten a little bit further. We're pulled off some of these restrictions. You ready for some more restrictions or ready to remove some more? Because by this time, the heads are really impressed. The sides are really bored. <laughs> um, so let's do our dancing around in the middle. Let's cancel X's. Let's bring them to a zero box. And now let's dance with the outside two. Um, I don't want to bring him into back into the middle yet. I want to just stay with these four, th th this head guy with these four. I want to stay in, in a box. And so the same rules apply. If I call only O's in this group and bring this guy back to the spot, Alaman left. If I call an X, any X in this group, cancel it and bring the guy back to the spot. Let me show you a quickie. We're going to veer left. Oh, we're going to do um, men trade. Yuck, but we're going to do it. That's an X. Men trade, ladies trade, centers trade, ends trade, they're all Xs. we got to trade them over here too. I'm going to cancel that with a bend the line. So now I'm all set to call an Alman left if I can bring him to this spot. Come on, give me a call. Slide through, thank you. And theoretically, everybody's back. And even more than theoretically. Couple number two, couple number four, lady one, couple three. You've got a lot of material there. You can call, ad lib call most of your singing calls now. The, the figures on most of your singing calls, you can ad lib. They're generally not much more difficult than we've done. There's a long list of O's and just a few X's and pop them in. Any questions? You know, um, oh, it, Ron just asked if you have to memorize the list of X's or if there's a way... For the time being, I'm going to ask you to memorize them. And if we have time and if you want, I can go to methods that will help you learn them. If not, I'll talk we did in one of the breaks. Um, but they become pretty obvious after a while. It, you know, it, it's, it gets to be built in. But for the, not, the time being, it's just easiest to memorize. And again, you don't have to memorize the O's, just the X's. The O's you can use freely. All right, let's mm, let's do a um, moving on, removing more restrictions. I'm going to do a right and left through from my zero box. I'm going to do a dive through, pass through, or a pass through trade by, or start a chicken plucker, whatever you want to refer to it, or I'm going to move to a across the street box, what, however you're comfortable with it. So far, my spot is still where it has been. I could do an Alaman left by calling Centers California Twirl pass through. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, you know, I had, I'm saying dance on the left side. I'm talking about the active man, but of course they were dancing on the other side of the square too. I'm going to let these guys dance on the right side of the square while well, these guys are on the left. And I'm going to follow the same rules. Just these four over here, 
If you do an X, cancel it. When you're ready, dance the guy back here. One way is bring him on the outside with a pass-through trade buy. So let's uh, – anyone? Veer left. Another call. Half tag. Veer left is an O. Half tag without changing facing direction is an O. Uh, or is an X? No, it's an X. I'm sorry. Yeah. Now, in general, once a call is an X, is an X, is an X, it's always an X. Once you memorize it. There are a few exceptions. And those are ones where, like, fan the top. It's an X from an ocean wave. It's a an O from a two-faced line. Chain down the line is an X, is an O from a two-faced line, is an X from a left-handed wave. I have a question? I can't see. Uh, you, uh, you did the half tag, and you said that was an X. Yeah. Would the walk and dodge be the cancel? I'm sorry, oh, Henry, Henry Grissett from Los Angeles. Would the walk and dodge be, uh, be the, another X? A walk and where their list of X's are a little different than mine. Um, and I talked about with them, a lot of people have walk and dodge as an X. In my way of defining them, it's not. And by doing it that way, it's consistent with the other stuff that I'm going to extend into. Um, and again, what I told Ron, I'd be willing to explain why it's not an X later by the definition I've required. But for the time being, let me answer your question straight. It is not an X. Walk and dodge is an O. Um, whether it's facing couple, men walk, ladies dodge, or, or whatever. Um, and live with that for now. Take my word for it. So let's do a walk and dodge. So we still have, did we do a touch a quote? Uh, how do we get here? Half tag. Okay. Um, let's do the walk and dodge. So we still have an uncanceled X. Lines facing out normal couples. Another call. Partner trade. And we're not, this is great because some people try and trick me with rough choreography. I'm trying to teach the principles, not trying to prove a point here. So right now we have to do a, um, an X. And for convenience, because I know where I'm, mm, no, I'm not even going to do that. Let's do a reverse flutter wheel, because this is sort of what I want to do, and it, which basically exchanges the ladies. So that cancels the X. Now all i got to do is get this guy over here. Um, and I'm going to do it sort of slightly different. We're going to do a, a star through and veer to the left, which is, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to do a star through or slide through, then a swing through and men run. And start through veer to the left is kind of a ugly call anyway, an ugly combination. Jeez, I don't remember how to do swing through. Here we go. Um, veer right and men turn back. Swing through is an X. We're going to cancel it with a men run. So now we have cancel X's. Two face lines, our active guy facing across the square. And I could do a veer to the right trade by to get me to the spot. I'm more likely to do a Ferris wheel. And keeping track of these guys in the middle here, a square through three quarters is going to bring, bring me there. I didn't do a couple's trade, but a couple. If I did, it's an O. Um, think of it this way. Center's trade is an X. End's trade is an X. But do both of them at the same time, they cancel each other. Right. Okay, so again, we've danced on the left. Danced in the middle, canceled X's, brought them to the left, canceled X's. Brought the active guy across, danced over there, canceled X's, 
uh, brought him back to his spot. And this should be the number four lady, I mean couple, and it is. Number two, it is. Number one lady, number three. That's an awful lot of material with very little to memorize. How are we doing time-wise? Oh, my God. <laughs> we barely scratched the surface. All right, let me, let me, and you wanted questions and answers. No, I can't quit here. <laughs> but if you have questions, by all means, as you have been, let me just show you some of the excitement here. And I'm going to plow this much more quickly than I do when I take the full hour and a half for myself. I'm going to show you what happens if I cancel and do an X in one location. I've, got, I've been working either in the middle on the left or the right, if, but canceling in the same position I've been in. If I do an X in one position and cancel it in another, what's going to happen? Let's see. I'm going to do heads pair off. Um, right and left through and veer to the left. I'm about to bring the active guy across, but I want to do an X over here first. I'm going to do a ladies trade. No, I just can't reach the other one yet. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to do an X on one side. And then I'm go, going to go over and cancel it over here. I'm still doing two X's, but I'm doing it in different locations on the square. And we're going to see what happens. Let's do a couple circulate. Now, I'm going really quickly and generalizing a lot because I've only got 15 minutes. Um, and I'm going to cancel the X on the left with one on the right with a bend the line. Bend the line from a two-faced line is an X. All right. Just to jump ahead of myself, I'm going to do a star through. That's an O. Or a slide through or touch a quarter men run, whatever you want to get here. And I'm going to jump ahead of myself and look at the situation. Let's flip everybody over. What do you see? The outside couples are paired. The inside couples are not paired. They're facing corners. I could do an Alaman left here from this eight chain through setup. But I'm not standing on the spot I was before. I'm standing over here. Now, this is starting to tie in. I guess I lost the marker on that first breakdown, too. This is starting to tie in with what Daryl had said. Let's get these guys out of the way. Here's my grid, and I had a spot here, which we're going to call the Alaman 3 spot. Right in, uh, And I, if you remember, the number 3 lady happened to be my temporary partner. I didn't have to know about that while I'm doing it, but it's nice to, to understand that. Right now, I'm over here in the number 1 spot. And the number 1 lady happens to be my temporary partner, which is how Jay would originally nam named the spots. But... He got them the way Al, uh, Daryl did by setting it up beforehand rather than an X here and an X there. He did a four ladies chain to do both of those X's, a heads ladies chain, a side ladies chain. And that's how he moved the spot. But I've just moved it on the fly. I did the next over on the left, moved them over to the right, canceled it with one on the right, and all of a sudden I have an, an Alaman, a new Alaman spot over here. You all with me on that? Because that's a big, big leap. Now, it turns out that if I could have also, so I, oh, how are we going to do this? An X on the left plus an X on the right leads me to, uh, now let's, equals um, a number three spot changing to a number one spot. But it turns out if I do an X on the right and then one on the left, it has the same effect. Let me just talk you through one of those because of time. Heads half square through. Swing through an X. Boys run, cancel it, ladies trade. 
I have an uncanceled X on the right. Couples circulate. Um, I have a uncanceled X on the right. What do we got? Two face lines. Wheel and deal, an O, sweep a quarter, I've got an X. My man is on the left side, but the spot is over on the right. So I'll do a square through four, trade by, right and left through, and now he's on his spot. It also turns out that either an X left and X right or the other way around will not only move a three to a one, but will move a one to a three. If I was had the spot over here, started with a four ladies chain, and I want to move it back to here. An X on one side and then the other moves it two places over. Let's get a little more exciting. Who the heck are these people? Threes. Fours. Jeanette, keep me honest on the time. <laughs> Ten minutes. Oh, that's more than I was thinking. Um, hide identities. I'm going to do, and, and your handout summarizes these equations I've written up here. But remember, one thing to remember, we're only following the location of the number one man. No other person. We have to know the formation of the square. We have to know the arrangement of the square, which are women, which are men. But we don't have to know the relationship of the dancers. We only have to know the location of the number one or whichever dancer you use a, as a... The question, uh, Ron Nelson, uh, the, would the Allen man positions remain the same numbers for a female caller that was following the ladies' position? Say, when I'm, hi, um, I'm going to hide this guy. I'm going to show him and have the sides pair off. So the spot is here facing that way, and his number one spot eventually gets to a two and a three and a four. Now, Daryl's already gotten to, I can't believe I called you Alex. I just about said Alex. I have a son named Daryl. I have a son named Alex. They have an age difference of almost 35 years. They live three hours apart, but I still can't keep their names straight, and I just called you Alex. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man. That's what parenthood will do to you. Remember, I'm only supposed to keep concentrating on one kid at a time. <laughs> so let's unpair off and go back to your question, Ron. And the Ron, let's follow the number one lady instead of the number four, the number one man. Heads pair off. She has a, her spot is here. That's her three spot. Her one spot is here. Two, three, four. And, yeah, it's the direction she's facing after a pair off. And if you really get into the system and you want to give dancers variety, mentally follow the number one woman. It's the same X as your exchange. You know, the list of X is the same, list of O's is the same. Boy, will it feel different to the dancers. Because when you're dancing the ladies' part and you're used to dancing the man's part, you're going to come up with different choreography. It's great variety and vice versa. All right, one more point I want to get to. There are 20 more I want to get to. I, you know, I could keep going for hours. But um, And, again, when I teach this at a caller school, I'll do, you know, a, a tenth of what we've done here one week, and the next week I'll do another tenth and go home and study this and practice. And the next week I'll do another. And the book that I wrote has 50, 56 chapters or something, and I don't think of them as chapters. They're learning modules. You know, two pages. Get this. Don't move on until you get some, until that makes sense to you and move on to the next. All right. What we're going to do now is an X in the middle and then one on the left and see what happens. Um, head ladies chain. Heads pair off. I'm going to cancel that with, with an X over here. Um, I don't know, let's just do a ladies chain. It's not good dancing, but it's easy to follow. And you guys, I hope, understand any X will do. 
And the one thing I haven't figured out on teaching is how to explain the logical transition here. I'm just going to do like the Alamed one, take you there and show you what it is. Um, I'm going to do a pass through. So we're in a trade by formation now. These are not arrows, they're arms. Um, I'm going to flip everybody over. And you notice that you can do an Alamand left from here. Partners are back to back. Those facing out are next to their corners. Those facing in are facing their corners. And we do Alaman less from, from, you know, zero line, star through, square through, three quarters, Alaman left. So very quickly, what I just did is an X in the middle and then one on the left moves the spot one place to the left. Middle and left moves it one space to the left. And now we have a number four spot over here. Cool? Magic? Now it turns out if I do an X in the middle and then one on the right, it's going to move the spot one place to the right, which would put the number one guy here in a trade by formation. Follow this in your mind. I'm not going to bother moving the dolls. Next in the middle, heads past the ocean, ladies trade. I've done one in the middle. Extend, recycle, I've done one on the right. The spots moved from three to two. Pass through, Alaman left. And trust me, or don't, I don't care. But I, th that, wasn't a, that wasn't a sequence that I had planned or pre-planned for the presentation. I make it up on the fly because I can. Um, and as I said before, this isn't going to keep a big floor happy all the time, but it sure is going to, if you, if you're the kind of person that likes to, to, uh, ad lib your singing call figures, you know, bring them to the spot and swing your corner. Keep it simple, get them there quickly. You know, standard singing call figure, head square through, an O, bring them to the left, swing through, an X on the left, men run. Um, cancel the X on the left. Ferris wheel. Bring the guy into the center with an O. Right and left through, an O. Square through three quarters. He's on his spot. Swing your corner. That, that, um, that sequence has been known to be used in a singing call. <laughs> Head square through. Swing through, an X on the left. Spin the top. Cancel that X on the left. Right and left through. He's on the end of a line. Square through three quarters. He's on his spot, but he's facing out, but he's next to his corner. Swing your corner and promenade. Um, now, if you don't use, if you use walk and dodge as an X, I think there's a contradiction of doing a walk and dodge and no other X's in the middle, and then doing it on the right, it's not going to move the spot. I think that's where the discrepancy falls. You can, the, the other patterns will cancel each other in the same location, but if you leave it uncanceled and move to another location, it won't. Now, extensions of the system that we haven't talked about are going to vertical lines, split two around one to a line. Um, we don't have time to talk about that. But let me, I, let me show you just a couple of really quick things. Oh, good, I still have a minute. No, half a minute. Um, Everybody quarter in. Notice right now we have, the guy was on his Alaman 4 spot. We've done a quarter in and we have zero lines, or 1P, 2P lines. If you have any choreography you use now that takes you to zero lines, modules or sighting or whatever, and you want a mental image from there, all you got to do is realize that, let me turn these guys over, that this guy is standing on his number four spot, and all you got to do is get him into a trade by position, and you can call an Alman left. And you can do that, you know, one of many ways. You know, pass the seat, pass the ocean, trade the wave, step through. It, it just goes wherever you want. Um, and the place this is really useful, or let's put it this way if you have some great zero line get outs that you do. You can dance around moving the spot over here, an X in the middle and an X on the left. 
bring them to lines. You've got zero lines. Now you can do your zero line get out. A place this is really useful is heads, everybody promenade, heads wheel around. All of a sudden I have zero lines. Man standing on his spot facing lines, but it could be quarter, um, could be a trade buy. Um, I want to do an Alaman 3 position, the normal one, um, from these lines past the ocean. Uh, what do I want to do? Ladies trade. I've gotten rid of the – no, past the ocean, ladies, you turn back. There's my X. Everybody you turn back is an O. Just either the ladies or the men is an X. Ladies, you turn back. I've done an X on this side. Ferris wheel, center sweep a quarter. I've done an X on this side in the middle. Spots move from the four to the three, left square through four. Um, I know it's really quick on the end, but let me throw in some auxiliary stuff. This is the cool stuff. I know, but i got to get here. Um, something that you don't need to know, but it's amazing because it's there. If I want to know if the sequence is in or out of, if the square is in or out of sequence, if I draw a horizontal line like this, if all X's are canceled, the square is in sequence. If the man is below this line, it's out of sequence if the man is above this line. Period. That easy. If all X's are canceled, the women are in sequence also. If there's an uncanceled X any place, then the women are out of sequence and the men are in, or vice versa. How many know about technical zeros and know that sometimes you can use them and sometimes you can't? And some people just stay away from them because sometimes you can't and I don't know when. If you're doing mental image, let me tell you how you can tell when, they're, when you can use it and when you can't. If all X's are canceled, you can use a technical zero. If there's an uncanceled X, you can't. Cancel it before you do it. And there's a lot more to know about how that works, too, but that's a simple thing. Um, and there's lots more, and I'm going to shut up because we're over time already. Uh, but I hope you guys got an appreciation for this as possible. I guess the thing I was going to lead off with, it's a really simple use system to use. But like Daryl said, it's not a simple use system to learn. you got to spend time with it. You got to work with it. Um, J. King originally wrote the hundi- fundamentals of calling. He later revised it to call it the fundamentals of hash calling, um, but he added a nice center section that wasn't choreography. It was pretty good on other stuff. When he passed away, at the unripe age of, of 57, he had cancer. Um, Gene Trimmer bought the rights from Jay's wife. Kept the, kept the same name. I've never read Gene's book, but from what Gene had told me, he basically used updated some of the moves in there, like curl a cue change to touch a quarter and that kind of stuff. He said he didn't change anything other than updating the calls. So those are those two. The book I wrote, because I couldn't find anybody else to, to do it, is called Out of Sight. I published it in 85, 84. I finally got it printed. Ran out about two or three, no, maybe five years ago. People have been after me to get it reprinted. Every year I say, oh, I'll have it by next Color Lab. And boy, was I working last week to make that true. But here I am being embarrassed again. I am so close to, I've scanned it in and everything, but I feel like being carried away with a long intro, and in which I split so I've got a forward and an afterward right now. But it's, it's really close. <laughs> so... It just felt like rambling for the heck of it. But the basics, I didn't change at all. Um, the book, as I wrote it back then, I'm still proud of that it works, that it's usable, that it's handy. Um, and it really does give you a good overall view of what's happening in choreography when you do it. It's a way that you don't have to worry about your key square breaking down. It's a, worry, a way that you, as a site caller, don't have to worry about looking at the front square only. You can look at the whole square, the whole floor, and keep everybody dancing, not just your key square. One more thing. Site callers, an incentive for you to buy them. Have you ever tried to match number one man and the number, his partner across on the other side? 
and you call pass through trade by and she zips over to the other side. So you call veer left and couples circulate and he runs over there, but she runs over to this side. It, you know, whatever you do, she's chasing you to the other side and you can't catch up with her. If you know your exes, call a simple ex and then chase her and she'll wait for you. That saved me many a, many an hour, you know, of, of chasing each other. And it, it goes on and on. It's, it's a great tool to have in your arsenal. Uh, and people have asked if I still use it. I say I'm a site caller. I'm a site caller. But I use it the first sequence of every, the first sequence of every tip until I figured out who started with whom. I use it when I'm out visiting and people, all strange people are wearing their club outfits. And the way I can tell this black and yellow dress from that black and yellow dress is mentally. I use it for 50% of every dance as I ad-lib my singing calls. It's handy, whether you're a site caller or not. Done. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you, guys, very much for coming. Big hand for Don and for Daryl. Have a great convention. Thank you.